Hey there, Libra. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to this general energy reading for you for... Uh, it's a timeless reading, but we are uh, channeling the message and recording the video in the month of September. <clears throat> so this could be a reading for your month of September or this could just be whenever, whenever. The, really this is a timeless reading, so this could resonate for you at any time, yeah? Uh, please keep in mind also that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I could be speaking to a cross-watcher here, so if you are cross-watching for a Libran energy and this ends up resonating for you, even though I'm speaking to Libra, then just take it as it resonates. Place it in your life as it fits. Um, yeah, if you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer in my email address. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested and I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Check us out on Patreon. That is a great way to support the channel and get some extra content throughout the month from me. Um, and um, oh, we could be speaking about the astrology for the month. That may come up in your reading. Just keep in mind that when I am speaking about the astrology, I'm speaking of it through the true sidereal system. You do not have to be familiar with true sidereal astrology or your placements within that system to resonate with this reading. Um, this is just a big old message for the energy of Libra, the sign of Libra. If you resonate with Libra, then you may very well resonate with this reading. But just understand that when I'm talking about it from, when I'm talking about the astrology specifically, we're talking about the true sidereal system. Yeah? Excellent. Um, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. Did I say that already? Oh wait, it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's get going. Let's get started with this for you, Libra. All right. So what's going on for Libra? Oh wait, hold on. They're telling me to, to give two more shuffles here. Um, first thing I want to say for you, Libra, I'm seeing a bunch of different colors. It started out with green, which represents healing. Also your heart chakra. Then it went to pink, unconditional love. And then it went to blue, your throat chakra. I feel like you are speaking up for yourself at this time, or there may be something that you need to speak up. Ooh speak up about or speak up against i feel like you might may finally be getting the courage to speak up first card you have here is divine matrix um i, I but from the divine matrix here i feel like you are feeling supported in some way by the universe god's source creator your higher self or just the circumstances um you're feeling supported enough to finally speak up about something, to set the record straight, to stand your ground, to clear the air about something. Uh, this would be a really good month for that. Um, if this is resonating for your month of September, because we do have Mercury retrograde happening, something could happen. Something could be divinely orchestrated, divine matrix. Something could be divinely orchestrated, Libra, for you to actually really stand up for yourself at this time or to finally address something. There could be a situation, an ongoing situation that you had in your life and that you've just been letting slide. Now is not the time for that anymore in this day and age is what I'm hearing. I feel like at this point, Libra, you either end up popping off about it or you finally are you feel ready to express yourself about this you have the land between and then you have earth magic interesting this gives me feelings of grounding yourself and what I'm getting with this earth magic energy Libra is you grounding yourself into your body or grounding yourself into the truth of your reality. Uh, the energy of earth matrix here, I'm sorry, divine matrix and then earth magic is strongly giving me the feeling of some, there's some sort of divine intervention that has been going on for you in terms of this situation or circumstance. Some of you, I'm feeling like you're kind of shying away from this. As I'm speaking to it for you, you're kind of like, you're, you're recognizing what this is speaking to. I did just see 444 on the counter. You're recognizing what this is referring to and you're kind of like, oh shit, oh no, oh no, back away. But also Libra, I feel like that may be what you have been doing. You do have this land between card. 
And this card gives me a feeling of avoidance for you. You've been, you haven't been, you have, you, uh, how do I want to put this? You haven't been on either side of the situation. You've been in this in-between state. And what I want to say about that also, Libra, is you have to make a choice. You're not going to progress. You're not going to move forward until you make a choice about this situation, until you choose. Or what I'm also hearing is until you finally speak up about how it is you feel here or how this situation has been hurting you or affecting you. And also what I just got Libra here is especially with this earth magic energy um, of you kind of like being grounded into yourself or getting grounded into yourself or getting grounded into the truth of this situation or the truth of your reality. This is also going to help you decide, help you see what decision that you have to make in order to move forward from this, help you pick a side maybe. Now, the other thing about the earth magic energy here and what could really be helping you is, yes, we do have Mercury retrograde. In terms of true, true sidereal astrology, Mercury is retrograde through the constellation of Virgo and will not be leaving Virgo. Stays in Virgo throughout the duration of his retrograde and then moves back direct in still the constellation of Virgo. And Virgo is an earth sign. And this could be really be breaking a, bringing a breakthrough for you. Okay, Mercury is exalted in Virgo. Mercury, Virgo is Mercury's favorite sign to be in. Okay, there's a lot of affinity there. But also, Virgo is ruler of the sixth house. Uh, originally, the sixth house represents health and wellness, your routines, also ways that you are starting to be of service to the collective. And this health and wellness could very be in terms of the health and wellness of your body, the health and wellness of your physical reality or lack thereof. And with Mercury moving retrograde through this constellation here, this could really bring a breakthrough for you in terms of how your situation and or circumstances just have not been the healthiest. And maybe even how you've been avoiding it. Now, for some of you, you've been avoiding it here because you haven't known how to handle it. Maybe because you couldn't even see it clearly, see the situation clearly. But I feel like Mercury retrograde is going to help, is going to help you discover this. Either discover what the issue is or discover ways to heal it, ways to go about fixing it. Mercury retrograde is a really great time for you to rewrite certain programming or to learn new things. Now, if you're a Libra rising, v Virgo is around, Virgo is a big constellation, but if you're a Libra rising, Virgo is like between your, uh, 11th 12th house maybe even a little bit of your 10th house depending on how things are really okay now the next card that's come out here is spirit this would be indicative of like your 12th house energies ruled by pisces the house of god some say Tell me a little bit more about spirit. What do you mean by spirit? Scarcity. Okay, so I, again, Libra, I'm getting divine intervention here for you in some way. And maybe like, okay, <laughs> okay, let's be practical about it. Maybe it's literally the fact that Virgo, um, that, that uh, Mercury is moving through Virgo. Uh, which is an earth sign, very practical sign. Okay. But spirit is helping you, is designing all of this, is facilitating all of this, is orchestrating all of this to help you understand where things may have been, where you may have been dealing with scarcity 
or lack in your life that has had you in this in-between stage. Interesting, Libra. Very interesting. All right. Let's get into the tarot here. So show us what's going on for Libra at this time, please, Spirit. What messages do you have for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other placement that you have, and or Cross Watcher, yeah? What's going on for Libra? You have the King of Pentacles as your first card. Again, practicality, earth magic, earth. Technically or officially, Tor uh, <laughs> the King of Pentacles would represent Taurus which is literally the sign of the earth, right? But also what I'm getting with this King of Pentacles energy here is being grounded in yourself. Being sure of yourself. Also though, this King of Pentacles could, for some of you, represent another person. Maybe you have an earth placement, maybe a Taurus placement. Um, ruling both you and Taurus are ruled by Venus and actually Venus is in the constellation of Leo in terms of true sidereal astrology but you have the king of pentacles the eight of pentacles the ace of wands ooh, and the emperor Aries energy but I feel like because this is a, this is a masculine dominant energy that's come out here for you but but the main feeling I'm getting from both the King of Pentacles and the Emperor, but then also with the Eight of Pentacles here, is commitment. King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Emperor. Um, I'm also hearing decisiveness, the decision-making process. I feel like, I feel like you, Libra, are being influenced divinely inspired or this situation is divine being divinely orchestrated for you to help influence you to get grounded in yourself or maybe to get really real with yourself or really real with this situation practical and down to earth okay there's going to need to be a level of commitment and follow through here for you but i feel like you are gaining the inspiration or the energy to prep to move with to move forward with this situation the king of pentacles could also represent your desires for greater financial financial abundance material gain of somehow of some sort Okay, but also recognizing the work that you would need to do, the consistent work, the follow through you would need to express to move forward here. But I'm also getting that you're feeling inspired in this or you're gaining a level of inspiration with this Ace of Wands and understanding of how it is you want to move forward. This also feels like you being able to make a decision somehow to get out of this land in between energy and then the emperor is more follow through is seeing the direction that you want to go in and committing to it keeping up with the plan keeping up with the program Now, this could resonate in, a in terms of love and relationships for you. Like I said, Libra, I also did feel like this King of Pentacles was another person. This could be a masculine counterpart in your life. But again, still, there is a level of commitment that is needed here, that is required. Maybe that has always been required. Maybe someone is finally stepping up to the plate. 
because regardless as to whatever this truly represents for you, Libra, keep in mind this is a general reading, okay? But regardless as to what this actually represents for you specifically in your life, the feeling that I'm getting from this energy is being able to make a decision and then to follow through with it, to commit to that decision, to see it through. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the devil. That's interesting. Capricorn energy too. It's very interesting. Bear with me, Libra. I just want to, I want to sit with this for a second. A breakthrough is happening. There is a discovery that's coming through. The scarcity, or I'm sorry, the, the devil energy here feels like that scarcity aspect that spirit, that spirit is bringing to the forefront that I, I think it's the scare, I feel like it's the scarcity here that you're having the breakthrough surrounding or this person is having the breakthrough surrounding. Not feeling good enough. I'm getting very five of pentacles energy from that. Not feeling good enough, not feeling like you have enough, that you'll be enough or they have enough or they will be enough within themselves. But something is changing that. Something is being divinely orchestrated, Libra, to, to help with that discovery or to help under, uncover that understanding that is also here represented by the devil. This feels like the fear or the reasoning for holding back from this situation, from staying in this land in between, for not making the decision, for not choosing a side or choosing a path. This could be someone that you've been dealing with and very well could be a masculine individual, okay? a man or a woman that's more dominantly masculine or at least has been playing the dominantly masculine role in this relationship. Okay, I want to start clarifying. Um, you do have, I will say though, underneath the devil at the bottom of the deck, you do have the six of cups. Some sort of soulmate situation or some sort of situation from the past that had you in this devilish energy of feeling maybe trapped or just feeling like you're incapable, unable to, to do something. This devil energy feels like the fear surrounding this situation. The devil was trying to, was effectively, at least up until now, um, and maybe this breakthrough is you becoming fully aware of who you are and just how powerful and capable you are. That could very well be what this eight King of Pentacles represents. But I feel like the breakthrough is coming from or is coming through in terms of finally being able to be released from these chains that the devil was holding you in. That was effectively holding you back out of fear from this career or from this dream. Interesting. That's what I just heard. All right. Let's clarify the King of Pentacles. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Libra, please. What's this King of Pentacles for Libra? First card is the Page of Cups, reconciliation, an offer of true feelings, an offer of love and commitment. Well, an offer of love, but it's also attached to the King of Pentacles, so that could be that commitment energy. This could also be some, okay, see, I'm definitely picking up on a situation right now, Libra, of you dealing with a masculine energy, whether man or woman, doesn't matter, who may have been holding back a level of love for you. Unable to choose, unable to decide. This might have also been someone that was um, very much focused on money and finances and physical possessions. Two of Pentacles. And the lovers with the fool. Somebody is choosing something. Somebody is choosing to commit to something. 
I'm also hearing someone understands their power in terms of commitment, understanding what they're truly capable of, understanding that they are capable of making such a commitment or following through with this situation or knowing just what it is they're capable of at the very least. And thus, they are able to choose to make a decision now. You or they, Libra, are able to make a decision now. Okay, overall energy here is the um, Queen of Wands. You really, this actually, you might be dealing with a Taurus or maybe you have a Taurus placement. Okay, because my eyes are being taken to Taurus energy. Uh, but clarifying this King of Pentacles here, you have the Page of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, the lovers and the fool. Someone could be finally understanding that they actually truly do have feelings or that they truly do love you. Someone could be reconnecting with their inner child energy and recognizing their true creative ability. Potentially. Someone could be rediscovering their dreams or having a breakthrough of what it is they really dream of or what it is they want to do with this Page of Cups energy. But there was a feeling of going back and forth. Two of Pentacles. Waffling. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this, you could, this person or you could have been juggling two people. But this Two of Pentacles energy is very indicative. Feels like this land in between energy here for you. Not choosing one not picking a side but ultimately the choice is being made and the lovers divine alignment i'm pe i'm feeling here libra what it is you truly want what would truly make you happy what would truly serve your highest good gemini energy also with the lovers so mercury retrograde okay mercurial energy so mercury all right Mercury retrograde could be bringing someone back into your life, Libra. Because they recognize the breakthrough. This is where the, I feel the breakthrough is. I just saw 22, 22 on the counter. The breakthrough is here. It's happening in this energy. The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands represents that which you are in alignment with. That is that which you are magnetizing towards you. The Queen of Wands is a magnetic energy. She sits in her power, she sits in her grace, in her beauty, in her desire, and allows what she wants to come to her. But this is where I feel the breakthrough is happening. Also connected to this page of cups here. Understanding what it is that you want. Know what you, knowing what you are in greatest alignment with or what would be greatest for you to be in alignment with. But I really, truly, what I want to say about this Queen of Wands here is discovering what you want. What you've been in alignment, all, alignment with all along. Truly knowing that now, where before you were this person or you were in that, que that Two of Pentacles energy of like going back and forth. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I can't make a decision. I don't want to make a decision. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Now you're becoming sure or now this person is becoming sure. Because there's some sort of divine orchestration here that is causing you or this person to get really grounded in who you are or what this situation really truly means to you or them. Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Libra. The Three of Cups is first. Oh, upright or reversed? Upright. The tower. Oh, shit. The Ten of Pentacles. Four of Swords is the overall energy. Um, I did see the Two of Cups also. <clears throat> that didn't actually come out, but it did flash itself. There may have been some sort of third-party influence here that has been standing in the way of someone being committed or someone following through with this or you following through with something. 
clarifying the eight of pentacles, which is consistent work, doing that, doing that day to day building menial work to build something, to create something, to create a product or whatever. But clarifying that eight of pentacles, you have the three of cups, the tower and the ten of pentacles. And it feels like there was some sort of interference that was keeping you or hindering you from or this person from doing the work to reach the ultimate goal here, the Ten of Pentacles. This could be another part of the breakthrough here. Understanding how external forces or external circumstances may have been distracting you. I'm getting, I'm getting some sort of distraction from the Three of Cups here. Whether that be a specific person, a specific group of people, a mindset. It was keeping, it was keeping you, it was hindering your progress. You may have wanted to put in this effort, this time, this craftsmanship. This consistent work, but some sort of mindset or some sort of third party influence, whatnot, whatever was getting in the way of the progress. But that seems to be changing. And with the four of swords as your overall energy here clarifying this, it seems that you've reached a sense of mental clarity around it, too. Maybe it's this three of cups energy that you need to speak up towards or speak up about. I'm seeing the Ace of Swords now, like, like cutting it, telling the truth, being real, being honest about the manipulation I just heard. Interesting. I mean, this could be something as something like, you know, a parent or family member getting in the way of this relationship or getting in the way of someone being able to follow through with their commitment or something like that. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. Okay. Cutting that at the cutting that at the quick though. I mean, or cutting that real quick. <laughs> okay. Clarify the ace of wands, please. Ace of wands for Libra. Clarify the ace of wands for Libra. The world. Closing of a cycle. Moving on to the next. You do have the fool here. Also. Alright. So the Ace of Wands may be the inspiration to close out this cycle so that you can, yeah, that's what I'm feeling here, so that you can move forward to the next, to the next phase. Take that leap of faith. The Magician. This could be a business opportunity for you. Wow. Wow, Libra. Look at this. Clarifying this Ace of Wands for you. You have the world. The Magician, Judgment, and the Three of Pentacles. Uh, for some of you here, I'm, I'm, understa I'm hearing there is an understanding of who your real team members are, who your true team players are, who are really going to help you build, and who are not. Whoa. This Ace of Wands energy also feels like being in the inspired energy to be like, look, looky here. I'm going to say this and I'm going to say this once. I have goals in mind. I have things I want to achieve. I have places I want to go, people I need to meet, things I want to create, things I want to experience, learn and do. And if you ain't with me on that, if you ain't bought it, bought it. Then you, then you got to go. Judgment. A judgment call is being made here. You are being inspired, Ace of Wands, to take up this direction. In order to take up this new direction or whatever it is you're inspired by here, you're going to have to close out a circle, certain cycle. So I feel like the question you are posing and maybe what it is you're speaking up about or what this person is speaking up about or needing to speak up about is, are you with me or are you not? Because we are needing to close out the cycle here 
of people that are not are standing against this situation maybe even standing against this union if that resonates for you in this way the world because somebody here point straight up and down somebody here is about to take a leap of faith but you can't take this leap of faith that's this king of pentacles Okay, the, the fool came out with clarifying the King of Pentacles. But you're not going to be able to take this leap of faith if you don't close out the previous cycle. If you don't at least cross from the previous, cross through the portal of the previous cycle into the next. You can't. Literally, you, you just cannot. If you want to take this leap of faith, you've got to cross into the next phase. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck <laughs> is the Six of Pentacles. Harmony, balance of give and take, reciprocity. Clarify the emperor, please, for Libra. Seven of, yup, 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 seven of wands. I mean, that can't be any more appropriate. And this is why the emperor energy is here at the end. Because yes, it represents the commitment, but it also represents the boundaries of the structure, of the situation. If we're going to achieve a certain thing, then we've got to hold specific certain boundaries. If you want an angel food cake, I say this, I say this shit about the emperor all the time. If you want an angel food cake, then you are going to have to follow the angel food cake recipe. You can't come up in here with, with ingredients to make a strawberry shortcake and i understand strawberry shortcake is similar to angel food but it's still not the same you can't come up in here with ingredients for a strawberry shortcake and damn near even recipe for a strawberry shortcake and think you're going to end up with an angel food cake you can't come up in here with with cake for a death by chocolate <laughs> and think you're going to get a, an angel food cake. No. If you want a specific result, you're going to have to follow the recipe. And that means holding the boundaries. So the emperor energy here for you, Libra, or for this person is not only stepping into a level of knowing oneself and understanding what it is you are capable of and being committed to or what you are committing yourself to or what this person is committing themselves to with the king of pentacles but then also having the authority in their life to say if you ain't bought it bought it then you then you got to go if you aren't with me on this if we can't agree on the destination and agree to follow through with it and agree to follow the path and stay on the path then you're not with me that's it. And you could very well be saying this to yourself, Libra. You don't have to necessarily have to be saying this to anybody else. Clarify the emperor, please. The star. Your dreams, your wishes, your direction, where it is you want to go, what it is you're trying to achieve. Anything else for the emperor? Yep. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. You have the five of pentacles that's come out here in reverse. And then you have the death card. Someone is definitely. I, I, I mentioned this, didn't I mention this earlier? I feel like the scarcity. Yep, it's the scarcity. That's that five of pentacles energy I was seeing. Someone is holding a strong boundary against scarcity against feelings of lack or 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 i'm hearing inconsistency wheel of fortune wow wheel of fortune is at the bottom of the deck overall energy this is a major change this is a big big change someone either you libra or someone that you're connected to is finally coming to the awareness of the fact that if they want a specific result then they're gonna have to show up but also they're coming to the understanding that they are capable of showing up if you have a dream of something, you're capable of following through and or achieving it, okay? But you have to transform out of this lack mentality energy, this scarcity energy. 
This five of pentacles is another representation of that devil energy that was holding you back out of fear or holding this person back out of fear. <clears throat> this person, either you or this person, Libra, are going through a massive, massive transformation. Congratulations. Congratulations. My fan just got stronger. I have a fan going in the background. And it just, like, I didn't change anything. I've been sitting here, but it just got stronger, which means that the voltage was increased so that it's now moving or working at full capacity. Look at that. Closing Oracle Guidance. Closing message, closing oracle message, closing oracle message for Libra. Where do we want to take this from? <clears throat> Love your inner goddess. Last shuffle. Closing message for Libra, please. <laughs> Card number 29, that does boil down to an 11. Beautiful bandit. You can choose right now to feel good about yourself. If you've been beaten up or if you've been beating yourself up, stop it now. Do not let anyone else decide how you should feel about yourself. Taking responsibility for your actions means that when you have done something that you feel is out of integrity, you do something about that, about it that is constructive and useful. Damning yourself with judgment or allowing another to steal your self-esteem is neither of those things. The Divine Mother is telling you to forgive yourself and use your energy now to live the best life you can. It's time to take your life back. There you have it. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really, truly hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available that, for that. Check the information in the description box below. Uh, but I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Excellent. Bye. <laughs>